Welcome, everybody, to the heart of Italian motor racing, Monza. We're here with Formula 2 for what ought to be an extravaganza of excitement and action. Let's head to the start line and get underway. Monza is situated 12 miles northeast of Milan. It's 3.6 miles long and offers 11 corners. Seven of those are chicanes, putting a premium on good braking stability and traction. With a good slipstream plus the other two DRS zones available, there should be a good number of passing opportunities on offer. With that then, let's run through the grid order. Kushmini lines up on pole position, with Gabriel Bortoletto alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have O'Sullivan, Martins, Richard Vashore, Miata, Hajar, Behrman, Amory Cordiel, Stanek, Correa, Jack Crawford, Paul Aaron, Pepe Marti, Barnard, Villa Gomez, Dennis Hauger, Colla Pinto, Maloney, Fittipaldi, Andrea Kimi Antonelli. And now it's time to head down to the track. I'm Alex Shakes, he's Alex Brundle, and this is FIA Formula 2, where the team have spoken so well about the driver you're looking at in screen at the moment. Alex, it's great to see young talent developing like this. Continuing to move forward, and that's a really important thing for them, for their hierarchy in the team, and also their career prospects moving forward. Try to put the starting position out of your mind and just focus on the race ahead. We can still do a good job here today. You made it look so easy.
experience some understeer now that you're in the wake of the car ahead. Try to get past as soon as possible. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. Who else but the boy from Brazil? It's Gabriel Bortoletto who takes the checkered flag.
no tyre blankets in Formula 2, so it's a bit of a dark art to build temperature into the tyre. They've done that, and that's been the key to victory. And here are our podium drivers today after that excellent race. They've excelled here as they so often do, and it's a well-deserved victory. Virtuosi then are on top today.